Um, I had just a quick hunt just now. Had five dollars in pennies and ten dollars in nickels, and I just kind of hunted it in the living room with my family because we were watching a TV show. Um, sorry I haven't posted in a while. I had a penny hunt here and got them all rolled back up. And I tried posting that, but I made the mistake of deleting it, the video itself, off my phone before it finished uploading. Um, and I didn't really feel like showing the fines or whatnot, because the only thing really good was um, a 1943D steel wheat penny. At least I think it was a D wheat penny. It was super rusty, um, and that was kind of just a guess that it was a D um, after kind of cleaning it up a bit. But, um, yeah, I had a hunt, $5 in pennies, $10 in nickels. Yes, I did find a buffalo out of $5 in nickels. It happens, I found a v-nickel out of $5 in nickels once before, so. That sort of thing happens, especially around here. I have a lot of good luck with buffaloes. Um, so I thought I'd just show you all these finds here. I got several nice 2009s. I believe they're all Ds. That's, that's a Denver, yeah, that's a Denver. And that's a Denver. Okay, actually three. Three 2009s, two of the formative years, and one of the professional life. Uh, I did get another Canadian, which I did, when well, I say another, because I found one the last penny hunt. But y'all, I didn't see that. Uh, so this here, 2001, so just, you know, pretty Canadian. <laughs> oh, wait, sorry. I missed one of these formative years. Another Denver, th so three formative years and one professional life. And then I did find one wheat penny. Just a 58, but I'm not sure. I don't think I have the 58 fill yet for that coin roll hunting owner only slash circulation finds folder. Oh, uh, this first coin I found in the nickels was actually uh, this one here, which is a 1939 filly. You can see it there. Um, you know, kind of worn. I looked, I don't think I see any doubling, but I also don't have a scope to tell, but I'm pretty sure there's not. And then in like the third roll, I saw the leg of a buffalo, and I can include a picture, because I did take a picture of it. So yeah, I did find this, and I do have a picture of it that I took while it was in the roll. And if I can figure out a way to put it in here, I will, but my edit, what I use to edit these videos is very... Just a little, like I said, app, a free app, so, you know, if that tells you anything. It looks like a 23, yeah, it's a 23 Philadelphia. It's not the worst condition by any means, but, I mean, 97 years old, so. And then also in the same role as the Buffalo, I did find a 49 Philly, and I'm not sure if I have that yet, I'll check. Um, so I'm gonna put those coins away, and then I'll be back. Okay, so, um, I already had the 49 nickel, but I was correct for my folder here, which is just for, like, wheat, for the pennies I found, coin roll hunting and just in general circulation, uh, so coins that I've paid one cent for or less, uh, like, cause sometimes I'll just find them on the ground, you know, earn and take a penny sort of thing, um, but yeah, I was missing the 58 for reasons of location, if I were to make a guess, and also there's quite a bit lower mintage in the Denver, so, um, yeah, this is my folder so far, I found that really nice 56D one time, and the only ones I'm really missing now are some of the fi Philadelphia's from the 50s, and then I am also missing some of the estimate marks from both the 40s and 50s, as well as the 49D, because 49 it's kind of just a lower mintage year in the first place. Uh, well, I guess the 49 isn't, but the estimate is pretty low mintage, relatively speaking. Uh, 64 million. And then the 49D is, it's rarer, but, you know, it's not nearly as hard to find as some of the others. Um, but yeah. Hope y'all um, enjoy this video. I enjoyed the hunt. It's nice. Oh, it's always nice finding a buffalo, but I find them all the time. It's just crazy. How often do y'all find buffalo nickels? Are they relatively common or what? Cause they're cr I find them like crazy down here. 
I think that's a good trade-off uh, for not having the San Francisco's or Denver's uh, pennies. So, thanks for watching. Um, if you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like, and then uh, go ahead and, you know, tell me your thoughts in the comments, you know, whatever. Um, talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.